Okay, now we can see uh, our new model here, and I am woefully under-practiced with this, but we'll get there. I just wanted to give you a heads up, uh, as I explained in an earlier video, that we would be giving you um, uh, much better graphics, much better explanations of the anatomical structures. Now, um, we can zoom in, and we can see how much work they actually did on the, the detail of this model. It's really uh, incredible. It's a paid model. But um, so far, it seems to be worth every penny of it. Uh, we'll see how things go as um, it pans out. I have a little difficulty. You're going to start to see all the controls that are on. Um, and uh, we'll have some interruptions in the screen. I haven't figured out how to turn those off. But I will be looking. Now, let's get rid of the, um, the skin here. Okay. And what I have here is the... Um, the blood systems, I have the connective tissue, the skeleton, and the nerve tissue so far. So let's zoom out just a little bit and we can see um, this guy. And um, you can see that uh, this is some great detail. Now let's zoom in and we can start to see an awful lot more detail. All right, we're going to be taking a look first at the mental nerve. That's our first target. And it might take a while. Like I said, I'm trying to get... Um, acclimated to the the model and acclimated to um, using the model in the whoops see <laughs> I told you let's see I can't really function him let's turn him around a little bit there we go all right um, I'm on an iPad too by the way so um, I'm using my fingers instead of a mouse which is kind of foreign to me but um, we're going to work with this a little bit and we'll get into the, the greater structures of the human anatomy and how we can affect them and how they're affected by Q-Show. And like I said, we're going to go into the mental nerve first. We can start to see that coming right out, out of the chin here. Uh, it's coming out of that little hole in the jaw. It's called the mental foramen and a foramen is just an exit to the exterior of the uh, mandible bone and you can see whoop let's see if we can just turn this guy you can see how far out that uh, nerve comes now if you just tap it and you get too much meaty flesh underneath you're not going to be able to cause a result you have to um, strike the uh, 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 nerve excuse me uh, the mental nerve in toward the bone so you can send a, a an acute uh, neurological shock. Now let's see if we can get some muscles on here for a second. We'll add some muscle layers. Okay, so we can see here. Let's maybe we can see here. Okay, how that underlying muscle there is going to buffer that from the front, and why it works better on the sides. It's because, um, let's see, this muscle here is the labi inferioris. Okay, these, <laughs> these uh, terms are, are rather um, hard, but bear with me. It's that muscle group right there. It is right in back, and we can start to see how that um, would buffer a frontal shot. Let's zoom out a little bit. Rotate this guy, zoom in. So you can see how those muscle groups um, go right underneath and how they would cause a buffering uh, an attack and striking it closer to the corner of the mouth would be better, even though it's easy to override uh, that target and um, strike it into the front of the jaw as well, as we've shown in some other uh, videos. Let's add some more muscles here. 
and you can start to see how um, it really gets buffered. And my, you have to really strike in with a, a short, sharp uh, instrument or tool like a blood pool hand, an iron bone hand, an iron sword hand. These are going to be your best bets. Punching with a fist is okay as long as you can get a sharp message into it. If you hit with a broad fist, like the whole front of the fist, like you would hit, be hitting on a heavy bag, well, you're not going to really get the effect and why they don't find this stuff a lot in boxing unless they're really uh, targeting for it. And you can still do it with gloves on. The gloves don't matter. As a matter of fact, some of the sparring helmets don't matter either, even with gloves on, so you get the double padding. But you do have to know how to focus on the tools, and that's why I say um, the, the tools, the targets, and the trajectories. Tools are the most important because you can get to these targets. And as a matter of fact, if you've got a good set of tools, like the iron bone hand, the blood pool hand, those small bony uh, structures will penetrate past these thick muscle layers and separate in between so you can get to these vital structures like the nerves and the um, vascular tissue. Now, let's highlight this nerve here. You can see that this is the labial branch of the mental nerve, and that would be our um, first target that we'll explore as soon as I figure out how to use this thing a little better. So, in the meantime, I just wanted to show you this, okay? And uh, I wanted to experiment a little bit with the recording, the screen recording on the iPad, uh, the moving around with the iPad, everything. Um, and I will be editing this film to get off to you uh, sometime soon. But again, this is going to be an interesting time. This is going to be an interesting uh, journey I take with you guys and show you um, the different structures of the human anatomy and how to affect them with Q-Show.